Frontal Bone Introduction The frontal bone is an unpaired bone of the skull, which consists of two parts, the vertically oriented squamous part or squama, corresponding with the forehead region, and the horizontally oriented orbital part, which forms the roofs of the orbits. The frontal bone articulates with 12 bones, of which two are unpaired bones and five are paired bones. The unpaired bones include sphenoid and ethmoid, while the paired bones include parietal, zygomatic, lacrimal, maxillary, and nasal. Squama external, part one. The external surface of squama is convex. It usually presents in the lower part of the midline the remains of the frontal or metopic suture. In fetal skull, this suture divides the bone into two. On either side of this suture, about three centimeters above the supraorbital margin, is a rounded elevation, the frontal eminence, which indicates the point where ossification commenced. Below the frontal eminences, and separated from them by a shallow groove, are two arched elevations, the superciliary arches. Their medial ends are prominent, which are joined together by a smooth elevation, named the glabella. Beneath each superciliary arch is a curved and prominent margin, the supraorbital margin, which separates the squama from the orbital portion of the bone. The lateral part of this margin is sharp, while the medial part is rounded. At the junction of its medial one-third and lateral two-thirds is a notch, sometimes converted into a foramen, the supraorbital notch or supraorbital foramen, which transmit the supraorbital vessels and nerve. Squama external, part two. The supraorbital margin ends laterally in the zygomatic process, which articulates with the zygomatic bone. Its posterior margin runs upward and backward to form the temporal line, which divides into the upper and lower temporal lines. In the articulated skull, they are continuous with the corresponding lines on the parietal bone. Between the supraorbital margins, the squama presents a rough, uneven interval, the nasal notch, which articulates on either side of the midline with the nasal bone and laterally with the frontal process of the maxilla and with the lacrimal bone. Projecting downwards and forwards from the center of the notch is the nasal process. It lies beneath the nasal bones and supports the bridge of the nose. The nasal process ends below in a sharp spine, the nasal spine. It articulates in front with the crest of the nasal bones and behind with the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid. Squama internal. The internal surface of the squama is concave and presents in the upper part of the midline a vertical groove, the sagittal sulcus, the edges of which unite below to form a ridge, the frontal crest. The crest ends below in a small notch which is converted into a foramen, the foramen cecum, by articulation with the ethmoid. On either side of the midline, the bone presents markings for the cerebral convolutions and numerous small furrows for the branches of the middle meningeal vessels. On either side of the sagittal sulcus, the bone presents several small irregular depressions for the arachnoid granulations. Orbital Portion, Part 1 This portion consists of two thin triangular plates, the orbital plates, which form the roof of the orbits. Laterally, each orbital plate presents, under cover of the zygomatic process, a shallow depression, the lacrimal fossa for the lacrimal gland. The orbital plates are separated from one another by the ethmoidal notch. This notch is a median quadrilateral gap that is filled in the articulated skull by the cribriform plate of the ethmoid. The margins of the notch present several half-cells, which, when united with corresponding half-cells on the upper surface of the ethmoid, complete the ethmoidal air cells. Orbital Portion, Part 2 Two grooves cross these margins transversely. They are converted into the anterior and posterior ethmoidal canals by the ethmoid. They open on the medial wall of the orbit, and transmit anterior and posterior ethmoidal nerves and vessels. 
In front of the ethmoidal notch on either side of the nasal spine are the openings of the frontal air sinuses. Thank you.